as we were planning for this podcast today, uh, John summed those fears up and he said, those sound like fears of rejection. Instead of rejection, kind of to combat rejection, we, we want to remember some things that God says about us. You know, God says that we're loved. He loves us with an everlasting love. That means that love won't ever quit. That was just just uh, talking to us a little bit about how God sees us. And so now let's go ahead and roll the uh, introduction. Relationship Revivalist Podcast. My name is John, and I am here with my co-host and wife, as usual, Jess. Hey, John. Hey, it's another week. It's great to be back. It all is so awesome to be here and talking with everyone out here in the in podcast land. And you know, the reason why you listen to us perhaps is that you're looking for answers and you're you're going through some things with your relationship that maybe you uh, just don't have an answer for right now. Maybe you've tried some things that just didn't work out, and so that's why we're here to help you. Absolutely. And Yeah, we hope that um, every week we're helping somebody at least, and we'd like to um, have a conversation with you again this week. Thank you for listening. So this week, you we're on episode twenty three here, and you know I just think twenty five. That's like a quarter of a hundred, and I'm we're really just aiming for a hundred right now. But in taking small steps we get there a whole lot faster without all of the emotional and uh, fearful and quitting all those kind of baggage uh, emotions you just don't have to deal with that so you take it one step at a time absolutely one thing that i've always said and i've had to deal with as much just as much is Staying in the moment. Mm -hmm. And confident that your spouse or the person you're in the relationship with is, you know, absolutely in love with you and thinks the world of you. And if you're not sure how they feel about you, it can be a real slippery, scary kind of thing. Yeah. And when you have those kind of emotions, they tend to roller coaster, not roller coaster, they kind of... um, Snowball, that's the word I was looking mm-hmm. for. Because you can you can kind of manifest those things into your mm-hmm. life. You have these thoughts like, well, what if I'm not enough for him? Or what if, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I'm married up and she gets all the attention from all the guys. And, you know, it comes from both sides. And honestly, these things are um, thoughts and feelings that are not from God himself. Because They're not healthy he, either. He would never put in any kind of a thought in your head that would make you doubt. Because doubt is confusion. He would never want us to doubt ourselves. And so it, it's important as we're in our relationship um, that we really take a hold of those thoughts, especially if they're negative thoughts, like John was talking about, of doubt and uh, doubting yourself, doubting your relationship. It's important to, to kind of take a hold of those thoughts and, and to look at them and to kind of analyze them. Like, are, are am I supposed to be thinking these thoughts? Are they healthy thoughts? Are they helping me have a better future and a better relationship? And if they're not, we need to maybe look at where the thoughts are coming from. You know, they might be from the enemy of our souls, the devil. Satan himself. <laughs> Ooh, sounded so menacing. Um, and, you know, that, that's so often what happens because, I mean, John and I have even um, had conversations with each other where, where we will let each other know, you know, we realize the devil was trying to give us both thoughts about the other one. And it's like he, you know... Um, He'll go around kind of trying to whisper in your ear about your your spouse, or the person that you're in a relationship with, your partner, about, you know, oh, this is really how they think of you, or they're really looking at somebody else, or um, whatever your fear might be, the devil is right there likes to and likes to prey upon that kind of thing. So it's really important to kind of watch out for that. Yeah, definitely. Um, so... If you're having these thoughts of, you know, your your spouse looking at other 
other uh, men or other women, depending on which side of the ball game you're in. Um, I would say, you know, these are thoughts that just come to you to make uh, any kind of an insecurity grow and, and just not be squelched because, you know, insecurity does breed many things that we don't like in ourselves. And the whole idea is to be confident and be secure in who we are. And if if we're not able to do that, then it's hard for us to really build a relationship with mm-hmm. with the our partners for life. Mm-hmm. And, you know, having these questions like, well, am I really enough for that for him or her? And mm-hmm. um, these are questions that you know, should should be just shot down because mm-hmm. as you're uh, building your relationship, and you can, if you get these these thoughts, you know, maybe these these thoughts are coming from you know the the devil himself, or maybe they're just insecure thoughts that you tend to get. And so here's something that I would say that would really help you out in uh, squelching these thoughts. These things that you can do are. Like for instance, you get these thoughts and you'll say, oh, thanks for letting me know. Now just go take a hike because I don't want any more of this. Mm-hmm. Plain and simple. Just tell yourself these, these thoughts are not allowed to come into your head anymore. Mm-hmm. And if they do, tell them to take a hike. You know, the person that I was, um, I heard s- tell us about this, used other vocabulary that I... I I don't have a problem with, but we're not going to speak them on this on this podcast. Yeah, we don't want to lose our our, our clean, clean rating, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you can have you know, whatever words you need to use, <laughs> whatever works for you um, to make it meaningful to you. But right. that's so true, and it's just it's, like John said, it's so important to just squelch those squelch those thoughts right away because mm-hmm. they're they're not healthy, they're not of God, they're not true about you, and you know more than likely your partner is not thinking the same way about you that you might be thinking about yourself. Right. And don't go looking for evidence Mm -hmm. because that will drive you nuts. It'll drive you insane because, you know, before I met Jess um, and before I was married for the second time, I did some dating and, you know, I got to the point where, yeah, I was just like um, head over heels for this girl. And uh, lo and behold, I found out she wasn't really head over heels with me. I was... um, heartbroken because she just kind of stompled all over my heart and so there were signs there that she was doing other things and I refused to to look at those and take those things into consideration because I was I was just going for the oh this is going to work out this is going to work out this is going to work out until it didn't work out and then I just said okay I cut the tie right there and that was done and So that's probably, maybe I dragged it out a little bit too long, but if I were to go and look for these problems, it would have, it would have, uh, destroyed some of my emotional stability and, you know, in the end game, the long run, who knows which way I, if I had handled it differently, I, if I would have been able to, uh, be a better person from that or, you know, I've learned it. So in the learning lessons that I've learned to uh, have a relationship, it's helped me in my relationship with Jess. It's helped, it helped me in my relationship um, with my second marriage. Um, but it, it's, it's a life lesson, really. And if you chalk it up as a life lesson, um, then, then you'll be better off, for one. You won't come off as um, being that person, you know, that like, oh, where did they go? They went off on the deep end. And you don't want to be that person. Um, And this is really just trying to tell you that you can have the relationship that you want, but you have to have the mindset that you are having that relationship. Um, Perhaps I gave you the wrong, wrong story to kind of coincide with this whole theme. But um I, I think it is right along the side, right along the thought patterns of having the right mentality as you're growing your relationship. So, with that, we want to give you some some uh, encouragement. Let you all know that God is always going to be there for you. He's never going to tear you down. He's never going to 
give you a false report. He'll never send confusion or doubt. You have to, you just have to know who God is. And I honestly believe that a lot of the problems that Christians have these days are stemmed because they don't know who God is. Mm -hmm. They really just don't, they haven't dug into his word to really think, well, who is this God? And yeah, maybe they've accepted Jesus into their heart. And so they know, well, I've accepted him into my heart. And and so now I'm going to go to heaven no matter what. But what if there's more? Yeah, and, and as we found out, there is much more to a life with God. And and it's um, really important to to really get to know God more on a deeper and more personal level. Because when you are able to be more and more confident in Him, it, it is like twofold. Because then you can also start to be more confident in yourself, too. Mm-hmm. Because when you know who to run to and who to give your issues to and who to to cast your cares on, and knowing full well and being absolutely confident that he is there for you to um, to take those and, and work on those for you, um, it just really helps with, with your own confidence in yourself, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so it's important to... You know, like um, we were talking about some fears today and fears of (laughs) before we were before we um, as we were planning for this podcast today, uh, John summed those fears up and he said those sound like fears of rejection instead of rejection, kind of to combat rejection. We want to remember some things that God says about us. You know, God says that we're loved. He loves us with an everlasting love. That means that love won't ever quit. Um, And so just remember that God loves you so much. And just knowing that helps us go on, no matter what we're going through. Just to know that we're loved and to feel, allow yourself to feel that love. And then when you're filled up with that love yourself, then you have so much more love to give to give to those around you. And um, remember also, God says that you are more than a conqueror in Christ. That's amazing, because when you're more than a conqueror, I mean, to be a conqueror, whoa, I mean... What is a conqueror? I mean, a conqueror is a winner already. The winner, but you're more than a conqueror. And um, I heard someone talk about that, being more than a conqueror is like he already won the fight and then he gives you the prize. You're more than a conqueror. Mm-hmm. And so we can rely on him that, that he'll do that for us. And, and, you know, there's so much in the Bible about what God says about us that we're cared for and that we're protected and adored and loved. And, and that's his nature. You know, he is love. And so he, that's what he does. And and so, you know, and and he created us in his image. And so he created us to be full of his love and to be able to love others, too. Yeah. So with that, we're going to have a quick little call to action here for you. We have had the, we've got this amazing PDF that we created and it goes through seven simple steps um, that help you have that relationship and it not only just helps you have the relationship that you want but it helps it actually boosts your 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 self-image it helps you with um just the secrets that a lot of people just kind of take for granted or don't even know about and so that you can get by going to the relationship revivalists dot com forward slash seven secrets or just go to our website the relationship revivalist and there will be a picture of an ebook at the top right corner and you can click on it and sign up and download that ebook it'll do it, it's a sh- quick read 14 pages and i believe it will definitely help you even if you grant gr- if you glean one thing from that ebook i believe it's well worth the time to read it um i think jess and i could pr- we've read it in what 15 or 20 minutes 
Yeah, it's a very quick read, but it's also something that you can go back again and again and and look at and even get more out of as mm-hmm. you read it. Yeah, um, multiple times. Yeah, mm-hmm. so make sure that you go ahead and grab that ebook f- um, at our website, uh, and we will look forward to seeing you in the well, actually not seeing you, but uh, talking to you in the next iteration of this podcast in uh, episode. 24. 24. All right. We'll see you later. So that's it. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have an amazing week. Oh.